Welcome to another episode of Threads of Enlightenment. My name is Ken Primus. I am your host. I wanted to just uh, welcome you and uh, continue our talk and our conversation about the process of uh, personal growth and to learn how to become the masters of ourselves. In the last episode that we had talked about, uh, I entitled it uh, Unchecked. Uh, emotions and the reason why I picked that that um, phrase unchecked is because uh, we have a tendency of not to be aware of uh, what emotions uh, are in us in the sense where it has caused us to become um, hateful it has caused us to to become uh, uh, stuck in states that uh, are harmful to our bodies our spirit, soul, and body, and in, uh, um, in our personal growth. Um, in this particular episode, I want to focus a little about forgiving, uh, forgiveness or forgiving others. Uh, this is uh, chapter four in my book, um, Threads of Enlightenment, that Radhe and I wrote. And um, uh, it is an uh, excellent book. Uh, I look at it more so as like a manual for you to take a look at and kind of identify where you're located in what state you're in mentally, spiritually, physically, and then it will guide you to um, the places that you need to go in order that you would become a, um, as I say from time to time, um, a mature human spirit. Uh, it's important that we learn these principles because uh, each one of these chapters that we talk about are simply principles that I believe are necessary. And I want to start this um, this particular uh, uh, episode with uh, saying that I, I always say to, to people, um, learn to let go. It is the beginning of your beginnings. And so as we look a little closer into that particular uh, uh, statement, you know, to learn to let go. And so we, 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 all of us have hurts and pains. And um, I mentioned briefly a little of how I was and what happened in my life to cause uh, that pain. And usually it's someone that is close to us that will cause us, cause us any pain anyway. Um, and uh, usually that's generally that's the, 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 you know, the way that it's done, but it's not always the case. But um, uh, it is still our responsibility, you know. Um, we have to take responsibility. After someone has done something to us, we have to come to a place where we, we take a, uh, the responsibility for our lives to put it back in order to, to now recreate something new, something stronger, something wiser, uh, something uh, uh, not as weak and so forth. And so um, the, the principle of forgiving them is to take away um, their power that they have, uh, um, you know, have uh, on your life. And so, uh, as I mentioned in one of the books in the beginning, I always talk to you, uh, I love that little book that I bought. And I use that book to actually teach my kids, uh, which was Buddha's little instruction book by Jack Cronfield, um, I suggest that if you have kids and stuff, even for adults, you need to grab that book because uh, uh, Jack has some wonderful um, uh, nuggets in there. And one of it that he has is forgiveness is essential for growth and healing. And that is why we need to forgive because that phrase encapsulates all the things, the purpose of why we forgive. And forgiveness is it's essential for our growth and for our healing. And so we, uh, we have to take back our authority, our power from those that stripped it away from us through uh, whatever hateful um, behavior, whatever they've done to us. Um, uh, many of us, I mean, many of you have gone through horrific th situations in your life. Um, I know my rejection came from uh, family, from my parents, and so I had to learn how to uh, push through that. I'd mentioned briefly 
that um, as a young adult, 20 something years old in college, the memory of, of that pain will come and I would cry as a, as a 20 something year old run, find a place to hide and to go through that emotional pain and um, to begin to figure out a way how to, how to manage it. And so, um, but I've, I, re I realized that it was my responsibility to, to, to do that, not anyone else's. Um, I know a lot of us go to therapists and, and all those type of stuff, which helps us to locate what, um, you know, what, is, what ails us, as they say. But then the decision is still ours to make to say that, okay, I'm going to be the one that has made the decision to, to go past this. Now, there's aspects of forgiveness. We're, we're asking you to forgive, but I'm not asking you to forget. Uh, forgiveness um, is where you release the, them from the acts that they have committed against you. And um, whatever it is, whether it's a verbal abuse, you know, things that they have said to you, you're never going to be good enough, you don't deserve to succeed, I don't love you, all of these different uh, phrases and things that they say to you, I love you, but uh, this is your fault, you're, you know, they um, use that to verbally abuse you and to kind of um, take control of you, basically. And so it is your um, responsibility I'm focusing a little on this responsibility piece because um, I am trying to get you to understand that it becomes your responsibility to make the decisions to get you out because initially you may not know it, but it was your responsibility that made you make those decisions to go into that situation. So my intention is to get you to focus a little on the fact that now it is your responsibility, as painful as it will be, and it often is uh, painful for you to begin to take the first steps to gain back your, um, you know, yourself, uh, to gain back who you are. I know many of us have gone into relationships myself, and um, you wake up one day and you, you don't know how you got there, but you're here. And um, as a result of uh, being in it, uh, you realize that um, it is not beneficial for your growth, but um, things have manifested in that re relationship that has caused you to, um, where you, you feel it necessary to stay. And so um, it uh, begins to take a, a toll on your spirit, your body, your mind, and everything. And it manifests in many different ways. I talked about a story last um, last week, our last episode that we talked about the lady that I went um, I went into her home and and um, she was her uh, fingers were crippled and her body was just crippled with uh, arthritis and um, I at the time was a young man out there uh, uh, street witnessing and so forth and I felt impressed to pray for her so I prayed for her. And uh, while I was praying for her, um, it was revealed to me that it was unforgiveness that had her in this particular state. And so when I made her aware of it, I said, hey, um, uh, um, you need to forgive your husband. And at the time, I didn't know that her husband had passed. I just uh, got that information that she needed, the source of, of her uh, problem was unforgiveness towards her husband. And so I told her, um, you know, that if you forgive your husband, that you would be healed from this arthritis. And um, uh, that showed me the power of the, the hatred or the unforgiveness. And, I, and as I mentioned to you in the previous episode, is that these emotions, that they, when they go unchecked, uh, we will end up in a certain state and that state that she um, she found herself in was that state of hatred and so from this place her cells uh, began to um, uh, uh, change and um, it began to affect her body uh, affect her mind 
and uh, eventually you know she became a crippled person and uh, that was uh, such a metaphor uh, um, that showed up in her body because she was crippled in her mind first for it to manifest in her body and so what um, caused her to be crippled and that was she did not forgive her uh, husband and so um, I made a statement to her I said hey um, the revelation is that uh, uh, if you forgive this husband of yours that you would get your healing and as I mentioned before she looked at me and said I will never forgive him um, uh, he cheated on me with my best friend and so forth and in conversation I found out that he was dead and I was actually shocked I couldn't believe what I was hearing from her as we, we d delve a little deeper into why she wouldn't forgive him and who he was and all that stuff and so this husband of, of hers had died several years ago but yet she refused to forgive him uh, which is kind of madness in a way but um, it was how she she her mind uh, was um, she was sick in her mind and it manifested in the sickness in the body and so um, she refused to forgive him and so I'm sure she that arthritis didn't get any better um, so uh, that was in her power it was her responsibility back again to that um, responsibility and I'm really focusing on this it was her responsibility to forgive him um, he had he was passed he was long gone out of her life and so um, but she didn't understand the process and what was necessary to get her her victory it says that um, I have this uh, saying that I tell people as well that true forgiveness will always bring you inner strength and grace and so uh, forgiveness and true forgiveness is not for that person that has done you um, harm it is for you to gain back your 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 strength your power um, your identity and all the things that you would need to become um, a mature spirit um, you have to make uh, this is a conscious decision that you have to make within your, yourself to, to the you know to want your healing so bad that uh, you can look at someone that have done you so much wrong um, and I am sure and I know that it's a hard thing to do but um, uh, in my case I had to come and, and uh, uh, seek forgiveness from my family in order for me to begin to start my healing and um, to be able to not have it affect me in the way where that memory came but it was so strong in my in my mind in my in my mind in my spirit uh, everything uh, um, that it caused me to react through um, breaking down on crying as a grown man and so I do understand this but uh, uh, it is your responsibility it's yours and mine we have to make a conscious decision to to forgive those those that harm us and as we learn to let go as I mentioned earlier as we learn to let go it becomes the beginning of your beginnings and so you now can create this new um, this new life this new journey that uh, you have to begin to take step by step and there are going to be times that um, it's uh, I'm not trying to paint a rosy picture here guys I'm trying to let you know the truth this is going to be painful because of some of the things that people have uh, done to you and and once you begin to locate where you are and uh, you see that you're in this place of hatred and and you know all of the other things the branches that goes with that resentful and all the other things that will cause you to make decisions that are harmful to, uh, for your growth and in many cases it's harmful to your family mate children friends you are going to lash out somewhere somehow it's harmful to yourself you know 
your little halash out of it yourself or, or to people that didn't have anything to do with this. In some cases, it's that person. But uh, that shows the amount of power that they have upon you. And so um, Jack has, uh, Cronfield has a, a statement that is, is, again, so powerful. He says, each night is an opportunity to forget and each morning is an opportunity to start anew. And again, that is a conscious decision that you and I have to make um, to, to, to move from one uh, level to the other. Um, this stuff about forgiving someone is really painful. Uh, an example, I'll give you an example of someone uh, who have been through uh, tremendous pain and suffering and yet uh, was able to forgive. Um, you and I, we read history and we talk about, you, 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 they talk about Jesus when they crucified him. And so here's this young man, uh, you know, being crucified and uh, uh, he looks after he's about to, to pass, he looks and he said, forgive them for they didn't know what they're doing. I mean, hey guys, here is this young man on a cross. Uh, if you study uh, what took place with him and how he was treated, and yet he was able to, to pray for them and ask that, they, that the God would forgive them for the actions that they did towards him. Um, and so, that is a high bar for us to, to reach and to, to strive for, that um, whatever cross that you and I are carrying or someone have nailed us uh, to, we have to learn to, to have that type of mindset and that type of spiritual awareness that we look at them and say, forgive them um, and forgive me for hating them. And um, I promise you that as you begin to walk that walk it will be um uh beautiful it'll it'll get there i promise you it'll get there but it's a step by step and um you got to remember this you know learn to let go it is the beginning of your beginnings and that's the mindset you have to get in your your spirit and your soul to to that you want this so bad that uh, you cannot stand the pain that you're in from uh, the darkness that they've placed you into that prison and where your mind uh, puts those tapes on and you're constantly replaying, replaying. And I know that many of you are in the situation currently. And so um, that is even a harder place to be. And so, but uh, in order for you to slowly, strategically now begin to gain back your, your independence is that you must forgive that person and then you start to to figure out ways how you proceed with your life but uh, don't give them that power over you because if they have that power over you they will always be able to control you and so um, you, you've got to learn to 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 let go of it because it is and it starts uh, an, a new beginning for you um, uh, one of the other principles that I, that I wanted to just mention within the um, within the, the, the bandwidth of of, um, of um, forgiving someone or for, forgiving others is uh, letting go of your past. You know, uh, I have this this uh, little nugget that I say: let go of your past, and your past will let go of you. And um, you think about that for a minute because the amount of power that is in that because um, I guarantee you if we're in prison most of us are in prison is something that uh, a lot of us are in prison from the past and what was done to us previously and uh, so if you learn to let go of that, that past um, how do you let go of that past you let go of that past through forgiveness and so um, once you forgive that person, you will begin your journey of letting go of the past. And now I'm asking not to forget what they have done because you've gained wisdom now on how you enter into this place, how you walked in. And so you're gaining a perspective of how not to go back into that. And so um, 
But I'm just saying that you need to forgive them so that you can begin to gain back your power and begin to take your walk seriously about your personal growth. Because at the end of the day, this is about you um, learning how to become a mature human spirit uh, from what they have taken away from you. And as I mentioned, it's usually a close friend, a family members, a husband, a wife, a, you know, uh, uh, someone that you've placed your trust in and that um, because of that, they're able to hurt you at a deep level. And, um, but when you begin to forgive them, forgiveness is not done from a place of weakness, not at all. In fact, it is done from a place of strength. Um, you gain back uh, that, uh, you know, that strength. We talked about uh, Nelson Mandela having to forgive uh, his captors. And the minute he began to do that, as you read his story, uh, you read his story, you'll see that that's when he began to uh, change their hearts. Uh, because as he began to change his, his response to them was different. He began to love them. He began to act differently. And so, um, but once he gained his, his power, again, he was able to step out and, and go from there. Um, as I mentioned before, forgiveness is done from a place of strength. Um, it, and it, uh, it, it's a beautiful thing. I remember learning and getting to that place when I had to go to my 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 parents to get my to to ask for forgiveness from them. I realized that um, the amount of peace and and um, the the release that I got from there, and um, I mean I am much older now than that young man that was in college, and uh, that thought. Uh, will still come to me, but it doesn't have the authority nor the impact like it did when I was a young man uh, that did not forgive. Um, so when that memory came or comes back to me, it doesn't have that bite. Uh, I've already released that. Um, the response that I get from it is not of tears, but it's of gratefulness, thankfulness, and uh, I, you know, I just uh, uh, be grateful that it doesn't have that authority over me anymore. And so these things that I'm talking about and the, the processes by which someone heals, I'm not just spouting off something that I've not been through. Um, and uh, I've been through all of these things that I mentioned in the book. I remember, I know my, my emotions were all over the place and it took me to state. I hated uh, to be honest with you, I hated my mom and dad, and so I had to learn how to forgive my mom and dad, and, and uh, my mom and dad are, are my best friends today. You know, I know my mom passed a few years ago, but she and I were best friends. My father, um, I love my dad, uh, um, but I had to go through all of those things that uh, one has to go through in order to become a mature human spirit and forgiveness is key. Um, trust me, I, I know what I'm saying. Forgiveness is key. Um, uh, Jesus, as I mentioned, he, they were killing him, you know, and uh, he, he was still there um, asking for them to, to for, for praying that they would be forgiven, you know, and so forth. So um, uh, you and I have to do the same. Uh, we're being crucified. In whatever situation that is um, uh, uh, happening to us and it is painful um, whatever level it, it, that brutality is towards you spirit soul or body it is brutal it is damaging but um, you can't harbor it so that it manifests in your body to cause arthritis uh, uh, stress all these other things that um, will come into our life but to what it's doing to the body on a cellular level is just destroying it and, and causing sickness and dis-ease or diseases um, you will never ever grow nor will you ever be free until you first forgive I, I'm telling you that particular principle 
you must have that. You, you will never grow, nor will you ever be free until you first forgive. It is principle number one. The disciples came to Jesus and said, how many times should I forgive my brothers? And he, you know, he tells them, you know, 70 times 70, you know, seven times 70. So he says, keep forgiving you, forgiving them. And so um, you and I have to learn to forgive. Jacob and, and Esau, there's a scripture, I mean, a story in the Bible that, that those two brothers. Um, so, you know, it happens to family. Uh, Jacob uh, um, kind of tricked his brother out of his um, his birthright and um, the blessing uh, it's called and um, they went their merry ways and, and uh, Esau threatened a uh, vow to kill his brother uh, Jacob and so it was many years later that uh, these two brothers um, reconciled and came back to each other through forgiveness and um, as a result, their families united and so forth. So unforgiveness could keep our families separated, could keep friendship separated. Um, but there's a lot of uh, pain and sorrow within unforgiveness. And my hope is that you will learn how to, to, to release that. Um, as I mentioned to you, I really, really took some things out of that book with uh, the Buddha's little instruction book by Jack Cronfield. I suggest that you grab that book. He says, weigh the true advantages of forgiveness and resentment to the heart, then choose. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that. You know, That's a powerful piece right there. Weigh the true advantages of forgiveness and resentment and to the heart, to the, to the heart, and then choose. So the choice and the responsibility is ours. And that is what I wanted to focus on this, that forgiveness is our responsibility and it is a choice. It is a decision that must be made by you, the individual, to gain back your authority, to gain back your independence until you do that. You know, you will never, ever, ever, you know, you will never grow, nor will you ever be free until you first forgive. And um, the pain, uh, the, amount, the amount of pain, I, I still can, um, I still can imagine that young man of in his 20s and the pain. I could see him in the pain that he experienced. I could see him uh, uh, running to find a car, his car. I was. I could see him running to find a corner in school, uh, in his college, trying to hide from the other young adults so that they don't see him crying. Um, I could still um, picture that young man. Uh, um, you know, just the, the pain of hitting the floor and and um, and uh, 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 releasing all of that. But that was done. The the incident that uh, run his life. Uh, ruined him or, or caused him to behave that way was done to him when he was a young uh, young man uh, a young teen I think uh, it was even beyond that it was it was eight and nine years old somewhere around there so uh, what was done to that young man at that that young boy affected him to his 20s and so there are things that are done to you when you are a, a young a young um, uh, person that is affecting you in your adult age and I am here to let you know that you can have your victory but you must become responsible number one and you must choose number two and um, as I said you will never grow nor will you ever be free until you forgive and that woman her husband had passed for several years and she had not forgiven him and she was bound up in pain and uh disease um, uh, ravage her body and so all these emotional states that we we find ourselves in affect us in our soul it affects us in our body so as you begin to heal your mind and your soul you will see that your body also will be healed and so um, 
thank you so much for allowing and f visiting me here at Threads of Enlightenment. Uh, it is my intention that um, you would uh, get your healing and that you will learn to uh, follow the principles that we talk about this um, at this podcast so that you can get your healing and you will become a mature person. You will learn how to master yourself and you will learn how to master uh, everything around you. And uh, we have weekly, I'm, I'm trying to set up principles for, for you to follow. Um, you know, one of the main things that I talk about, and I'm going to do a big uh, podcast on meditation and try to help you with those things. And because that's another key that you have to do. But uh, again, thank you for joining me at Threads of Enlightenment. Until next time, enjoy the journey.